All right, so the reason why I was breaking down crying so much is because I had chosen to live my life by a certain code which I defined as love, honesty, truth, uh, togetherness, uh, encouragement, acknowledgement, at high levels, you know? And uh, for doing so, I was treated, I was like sent away by my family, I was just disowned by everybody. And uh, the this being disowned by family wasn't what was causing me to cry. What was causing me to cry was in order for me to express myself uh, for what I say what love is, um, I had to take a look at who I was previously. And, you know, we can say heaven is here on earth. We can say all of that. But to experience it, to actually experience heaven here on earth, there has to be a judgment day. The living does not get to enter into heaven. Whatever you, you know, heaven is just a word that means secure for me. Security, you don't get to live this life securely until you've had a judgment day. That judgment day needs to be uh, for yourself. I have, I, on the metaphysical level, which for how I feel and believe is a whole another existence just like this one. On that metaphysical level, my seed of doubt that I casted to so many people for so many things and for all those years, when I, on my judgment day, I judge myself for murder. Seeing my murderous self is what made me cry. So that's what I'm saying, you know, on, on the level that you're talking about, sure, there's no negative uh, outside influence from the way you're looking at things and with the lenses that you're looking through them. They're, they're a little bit cloudy and, and uh, they need to be cleaned up a little bit and they need some magnification for you to see what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, to live and experience this life with security, there has to be a judgment day. Otherwise, it's just words.